Okay, we ran into a little problem here with this uh, adapter kit. This is the uh, instructions, as you can see. This bolts onto the side of the block, on the driver's side. And right about in here is where we put that plug in for the uh, where the oil cooler coolant used to come out of. And that means that part of the block is not flush, so this adapter will not fit. There's a couple things we can do. Paul Renegade hybrids, see if they've run into this before. I think they probably didn't, so we'll notify them. Um, probably have to pull this plug out again and remove the plug from the center, and we could probably tap this from the other side, from the inside, and that might get us there, but I'm thinking this actually sticks out too far, if you kind of line it up flush like there, even this will probably stick out too far. This is aluminum, so that's kind of the plan, pull this out, pull this out, tap the back of this fitting for this plug, stick it in the back, and we still might have to file or grind this, this piece down so that it can fit across there. But yeah, that was kind of a, an unexpected thing. Oh well, we still push forward. Okay, we're working on the solution to this uh, problem with our adapter plate here. As you can see, I got this thing uh, whittled down a bit, but it, it's still not enough. Probably got to go probably a good eighth of an inch more. So, here's what we did. Oh, man, it's tight. See up in there. Maybe you can't see up in there. We uh, put a plug up in there from the back side of this uh, fitting. The uh, cast iron one wouldn't work. Luckily, I had an aluminum one that uh, is like a flush fit socket head so so that doesn't uh, cause a problem but as you can see there isn't hardly any room back in there I mean you've got uh, that's a cylinder wall right there so you've kind of got that that length there and maybe an eighth or so more than that and that's it so, what we're going to have to do now is uh, probably, I filed the face of this thing down pretty good, but we got to go a lot further, so I'm probably just going to take the grinder to it, grind it on down until it fits. Okay, so here's our fix for this little problem. I got it. Some better light on it now here so you can hopefully see this better i took this uh capped plug and i actually put it in the vise and took a hacksaw and cut a good sized sliver off of this thing so now we screw this in here
that's not quite in there all the way so if that works that's great so I can still make it a little contact oh, we got a few more threads on this thing it's about as hands tight as I can get it There you go. I don't know if you can actually see that, but if you look carefully, you can see daylight between this adapter and the plug. So, now what we'll do is we'll take this out, put some, some thread sealer on it, you know, clean it off real good first, and torque it in there. Then we'll be ready to mount this adapter plate. Should scuff these down and spray them black because they're going to get pretty ugly and corroded if you just leave them bare aluminum. Kind of a rainy day today though, so not a good day for painting. Well, we'll see. Okay, so we have our solution fully implemented here. And yes, we did paint the uh, the block adapters with some semi-gloss black so they should stay nice and pretty for a long time and if you look back at here shine a light back there hey look at that we can see daylight between that plug and the engine mount adapter so we're good to go there I just fitted up one of these extension thingies to uh, see how that goes on there. That looks like it goes on like that. So, yeah, this this gets bolted into the 944 cross member, and we should be able to do the same thing on the other side. Much easier than. <laughs> hopefully, nothing gets in the way. <laughs> we'll see. More later. Okay, just for good measure, the other side went on pretty uneventfully. Got the uh, motor mount uh, extension on here. These have to come off because um, theoretically you bolt them into the cross member first. And at least I think that's what you do. We'll find out soon, hopefully, because we're not that far from putting this thing in the car. But yeah, basically it was uh, this bolt, that bolt, and there's one under here, which is a countersunk socket head, and then this one just goes straight through the motor mount into the block and holds both. So that's it. Nothing real surprising. Had to use a, a ball allen to get this one uh turned in all the way and then you know just a regular 90 degree allen head to, to tighten it because the header is on it. If the header wasn't on it wouldn't be any problem. But that was the only excitement with that side so yeah. Mounts on there. Done. <laughs>